So I'm getting something here about where we invest our time and like where we invest our energy. Um, almost like the environment would need to facilitate the growth of like a plant. We wouldn't plant something in an environment which we know would be damaging or kind of toxic to the growth of that plant. So we'll see how this connects. I'm also being shown a rainbow. Um, I actually saw a rainbow actually the other day. So the symbol of the rainbow could be important right now as well. Healing, recovery, there's something coming up about that. So there may be something about somebody's environment right now. Um, your direct environment or kind of where you are choosing to invest your time and energy is, is important somehow here. Okay, so let's get the cards out though and see. Who needs to hear this message, Spirit? Tell us about this message here today. Who needs to hear this message? Yeah, I'm hearing time to start anew. And they're showing me a blank sheet of paper. We have the King of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Cups here. And here is the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this feels definitely like a, a very kind of proactive energy. We do have a lot of masculine energy here, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. So um, some of you, this could be, you know, if you are a man, this, this reading could connect with you, but you don't have to be. It could also just be that there's a strong masculine kind of energy that perhaps you are stepping into or embodying. Could be about somebody around you as well, but we'll see how this unfolds. I'm just seeing a lot of growth here in terms of like um, stability and action-oriented kind of steps that are taken here. And so with the reference of like, they're definitely focusing a lot on a masculine energy because it feels like this is about growing something in a very stable environment. Um, and I keep getting this like strong sense of almost like a, a, a strong advice coming in. So this could be from somebody's guides, ancestors, maybe somebody that you, who has passed on, who would be a man or like this male figure for some of you, where it's almost like a very um, get to work kind of feeling, uh, get clear and get grounded. And I feel like somebody may need to hear that if this reading is for you. So this could be you stepping into this role, or this could be some kind of advice coming in, okay? Or this might be somebody around you. Um, we'll build on it and see where it goes. But um, they're definitely showing there's a lot of, of, again, focus on almost going away from these distractions of the Seven of Cups and moving into this Eight of Pentacles, which is like really um, working hard at something, really diligently putting effort into the things that we want to grow. And I keep being shown somebody in like a, a room that is, you know, one of those like soundproof rooms where there's no distractions. So there's something about that to where there's either like a call here for somebody to kind of try to eliminate distractions around you, especially if you were trying to work on something or this is time to kind of get serious, a clean slate I had heard as well. There's a very much of a future vision here for somebody like, like if you're looking over the top of a building or a mountain and we're supposed to be focusing on the long-term goal and the long-term vision and I feel like that's what they keep wanting to say so if you have been feeling a bit distracted recently or maybe this is something specific for you um, it feels like somebody needs to hear this that it's kind of a message of guidance to think about where there are distractions at this point um, is it like noise from outside in terms of other people. There are a lot of people on this image here. And I keep hearing that get back down to business or get back to basics. So there's a lot of this focus of the emperor that keeps coming up here. And some of you here could be in the next coming months or so, there could be a lot of work being given to you. Um, could be something that you're taking on in your work, you know, some sort of position which is going to provide you with more security but also it's going to increase your workload or there's like more to do there's more to put effort into um, and I feel like they I'm hearing don't slip backwards into old ways 
So this is definitely like a, again, it feels like a guidance coming up, like a strong feeling of guidance from somebody's guides here um, to say like become this emperor or this is how we are trying to guide you to do things right now to not slip backwards into maybe where things were more of like a blurred lines I'm hearing. I'm also hearing lack of boundaries. And this really could be anything. It could be in the workplace. It could be, again, with that energy of like a seed being planted, we need to be mindful of the environment in which we plant that so that it can have the most potential to grow. And I'm hearing nothing is stopping you now. And some of you, if you are waiting for this breakthrough, or if you're waiting for like a time period, again, it could be something specific, like let's say maybe um, you're waiting for some sort of green light to work on something or to be hired for something or just to take on this new position of more of this like responsibility. It feels like that's what's kind of being prepared for. It feels like you are going to be taking on a lot more of that responsibility. Let's get a few more cards here. What would you like to say, Spirit? What else would you like to talk about here? We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands. Something about a windmill. Here's coming through with the Queen of Cups. And we have the High Priestess with the Queen of Swords behind that. Yeah, I'm getting this feeling of almost like they're showing me a, like a strong windstorm with this Queen of Swords here. And it's almost like things are being kind of swept up in order for there to be this clearing out. Um, I'm hearing keep the hope alive. The hope is not lost or the hope is not gone. Let's see. Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. Yeah, for a lot of you who resonate with this, you actually may be coming up as this high priestess. So you could be somebody who, you know, works in this field of spirituality. You could be a high priestess yourself. You could be very psychic, intuitive. Um, there could be something here that you're taking on this like position for when it comes to this maybe role or something that you are just like, uh, like evolving into. Um, but I'm getting this feeling of like competition. So that's almost where I'm getting the message now clearer that somebody here, your guides want you to know that there is no competition. There's something about this bison in the background that could be a sign for you too, to where you're very protected in terms of, again, something to do with like you pushing forward and they're like not paying attention to the, to the competition. And that could be literal. So some of you may be in a and in some kind of field of work where there is a lot of competition around you and you feel like you have to kind of like fight for your position or you have to fight to be seen and what spirit's saying is that you actually hold both of these qualities of the queen of cups the queen of swords or all of these and the high priestess and more but um these are coming up as the main ones because it's like you're using your sensitivities but at the same time you're being called to be fierce and proactive here um, and, and with this high priest, it's, it's because of a position that you hold or that you're about to um, more fully kind of evolve into. And so it's almost like it's, it's kind of this feeling of you are preparing or like your guides are coming in here to say that you better prepare for this. Um, and not that you need to like push yourself or do something extravagant. It's just more of like a feeling where you're being prepared to, again, take, I keep getting like, take on more work or take on more responsibility. It just keeps coming through. And with this five of wands and the seven of cups, there may be this perceived competition or actual competition or even spiritually, um, some kind of like spiritual warfare or just something going on to where um, it's like, it's time to kind of break out of that shell or that cycle, which may have you perceiving this to be a competition. You know, that's really what's coming through here um, because I'm seeing some of you separating like a boat here and a boat here. And there's like one boat that is separating from each other. You know how like in the space movies when they're trying to land the, you know, the spaceship onto the whatever it's called, the landing spot. And it's like they detach the other one. There's something about that I'm seeing where it's like time for you to be that detached part of that, you know, so where you can fly up into space and evolve further. 
So for some, this could even be with the Seven of Cups, the Five of, of, of Wands. Like I said in the beginning, there might be a need for you to be very mindful of, is your environment right now like conducive to this? Uh, do you need to detach and distance yourself from situations which are smothering that seed to where you can't you can't kind of blossom fully and i am hearing for some this could be like a spiritual thing though so if you don't if you look around your environment and you don't feel like there's anything that's like testing you now or there's nothing that feels like it's a major threat uh or not a major threat but just something that could be threatening you or, or just whatever could be in the way this actually might be more so about your spiritual position like i was saying and this could be in the background here and this emperor for some could even be like a like a like a masculine deity coming through that works with you okay for some and it's like this sense of sort of uh, don't pay attention to that i keep getting or like don't look backwards at the competition or don't pay attention to the spiritual um, interferences that you may pick up on or the psychic attacks or whatever that might be because it feels like this is i'm hearing it's your calling and i'm being shown this lightning like striking it's your calling and then i just heard the lightning strike or i saw the lightning strike so i feel like this is yeah it's, it's a it's a really um yeah and actually let me see the bottom of this deck we have yeah expect the unexpected a sudden change or shift is in store for you whatever it is it's for the best everything happens for a reason even if it seems challenging at first and see, even though this is like a cloud here or something, it kind of gives me the same feeling as a lightning. And um, we've actually had a lot of like thunderstorms here recently. So I don't know, that could just be kind of an additional sign of this incoming energy to where it's like there's a lot of um, shifts that are ahead that I almost feel like this is a preparation, preparation message. So you may find this reading at a time where some of this could play out maybe like a couple months from now, depends on where you are. Um, and either this could be where there's actually going to be this opportunity, which is going to be a sudden kind of shift or a sudden like uh, promotion or elevation in your career. And it's going to happen like overnight or just going to be offered to you. Or this may be something which is like a gradual process where you are more fully stepping into your power in this way, especially if you do work like in the spiritual, in the spirituality you know, department, but not all of you, that won't be the case. I'm being shown, you know how people like point at their two eyes and they and then they point at your eyes like I'm watching you. I, I just saw that. But I feel like that's this emperor that keeps coming through. Let me pull a few more cards from a different deck, but it definitely feels like this is um, this sort of. And some of you actually could have somebody watching you in the physical world, which maybe that's very specific. It's not going to be for everybody, but it could be like um, someone who's going to you know, look or find you somehow and offer you something in work. That could be for a few of you. Um, this was at the bottom two, friends and colleagues. Something about somebody with a mustache. I don't know why that just came through, but I got a vision of this man with a mustache. I'm not sure what the, I'm gonna have to look at this emperor a little bit more in depth if it doesn't come up more, because there's something with that emperor that I feel is it could be like a double message for some of you. Is there anything else, Spirit, that you want to say for this reading, please? Is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, there's, okay, the loving man. This could be a separate message. There could also be something about a man. Um, if, you know, you're interested in men romantically, there could be a man who's watching you somehow or has their eye on you. Um, and maybe wanting to come in that could be part of what this unexpected change is going to be I am hearing for some let's see spirit what do you want to add to this reading what do you want to add to this reading here what do you want to say for this message I'm also being shown somebody sleeping and, and then I'm seeing someone jolt awake. I believe this came up before in the reading, but in this case, I'm seeing it like I'm hearing spirits say, look around. But in this case, it's in a way to where like, don't miss this opportunity or make sure you're looking around because there's something that's going to 
it's going to come in not that you can miss it because it's meant for you but at the same time like try not to be in your own world maybe there is something for some of you okay that's what that was saying with the distraction um this may be something how to put it like maybe some of you are feeling a bit distracted by either your own pain or by whatever this is things that make you kind of wallow in the, the past or maybe it is something that you have a lot of responsibility and this emperor again keeps coming up either like this the soul of somebody who's coming in for you is saying like don't miss out because i'm coming in or it's still like a guide coming up as well and this could even be work related to not just romantically because it, it was coming up a lot about that in the beginning but it kind of can be both where like keep your eyes open be very aware be very aware of what you're seeing around you with the opportunities. So we have the loving woman. We have the loving man at the bottom. Okay, yeah, there is a, there is a partnership here coming through. And then we have here taking steps. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense with, with what I was saying earlier. Um, I'm hearing that phrase, be the change you want to see in the world. So that could be a motivational kind of quote for you be the change that you want to see in the world yeah i'm getting like two separate life um categories here or it could be both for some of you depending on where you are in love versus career but i'm getting on one end this is about you being the change that you want to see in terms of whatever you're doing and taking on with this like workload or your position spiritually with this high priestess or whatever it is you do in this lifetime it's like there's a sense of i'm hearing the bubble has bursted but they're showing it in a way where it's time to it's time for like this takeoff feeling like we it's almost like clearance like we have clearance to go now we have clearance to take off now and so a lot of you are strongly feeling guided intuitively at this point, okay, with maybe both categories or just this part here at least with career or life, like life change, life purpose. I'm being shown your third eye and there's a strong focus of you being encouraged right now to really follow your intuition, which kind of goes back to what they were saying to try not to pay too much attention to distractions, which you know are like somehow keeping you from your clear crystal clear intuition and this could be so many ways it could be people who say things around you it could be a, um, information that you absorb in terms of things that you i just saw 11 11. yeah it's about it's all about confirmation of you taking steps towards your intuitive purpose or intuitive like just intuitively being drawn at this point and not being like having almost tunnel vision with your intuition meaning that um whenever you absorb like other information or if you start to again f f like fall backwards into something that maybe you know that that like environment or that choice that you're making is smothering that seed that's trying to blossom into that full flower that you're becoming in terms of this next level promotion or just next level career goals or something like that um, it feels like spirits really giving that masculine feeling again of like keep your eyes on the prize or keep your focus looking forward and follow your intuition though with the high priestess because you seem to be very there's something I keep getting of like this tunnel tunnel vision or it's like a protective feeling like this is between you and spirit kind of or there's like something about the tunnel here I don't know how else to put it but it feels it feels like something big with that lightning is coming in that you feel this coming to or you know that like you know that following your intuition is the right choice and you may even feel some kind of breakthrough coming but we have this loving man here and the loving woman so yeah loving man loving woman kindred partnership I keep hearing that book ask and it is given i think that came up before too in a reading i did I, I heard it now three times so that book by abraham hicks uh, may be a book that you want to read or take some you know insight from for some of you this could actually be something that you're trying to manifest into your life okay so it could be a partner that you're trying to manifest into your life 
it might be a combination again of the two but um there's also this partnership here with these two people i mean this is like the counterpart of each other um and it feels like let me actually get a few more tarot for this part i'm hearing from the movie Dirty Dancing, nobody puts baby in the corner. Again, there's like this feeling of don't look back and, and having this action oriented masculine kind of steps moving forward, like focus on the focus on you, focus on the prize that you are. And it's because I feel part of this is maybe even this colliding meeting between two people here. Tell us a little bit more, Spirit, please. Tell us a little bit more. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords. Hmm. actually going to get some of these as well to go with this this is an awesome deck by jennifer aquarius tarot egyptians prophecies if you're into ancient egypt there's such beautiful cards so um i'll link her shop down below would highly recommend them let's go ahead and see here what is tell us a little bit more spirit about this message here what are you trying to say can you help me to put this together with this loving man loving woman and anything else i'm seeing an evil eye yeah there is something here okay yeah in the shadows misunderstood confusion depression anxieties an evil eye yeah, I feel like it, it definitely kind of goes back to what I already said. I think some of you need, I'm even hearing this reading in itself. This is really interesting. I've never had this come up in a reading, but this reading in itself, watching this reading or hearing this reading is going is going to like help to protect you. So I don't know if maybe something, it's weird. It's almost like as I'm doing the reading, I'm like sending you some kind of protective energy is what Spirit's telling me. Um, or this emperor here, some kind of guide is coming through the reading to send you protection as you're hearing this. Okay, that's something coming through. But yeah, you may even want to, um, I am hearing for some, you may want to grab um, like an evil eye necklace, bracelet, something which can serve as like, a, a, like um, an amulet right now to protect your energy. Because... It feels like this soul that I'm picking up on with this taking steps, the high priestess, is a combination of this path that is supposed to kind of blossom and take off for you to lead you into this further abundance that you're meant for. But at the same time, there's maybe a very loving, sacred connection that you're also meant for or meant to come together with. But there are some kind of shadowy energies that are trying to hinder this from coming in or block this from coming in. And that's why you having some kind of protection around you, while also maybe whoever you pray to or connect with, there's especially like if you connect with a masculine guide or deity, um, this is coming up as being a very protective being for you. So that this sacred path with the tunnel kind of vision or the tunnel reference is meant for like a very sacred soul. You know, it's not meant for everybody. So this path here feels like it's um, something about it is is how to put this like it's meant for you. But that's why it also has competition around it because it's a, it's a sacred path or it's a position that many people want or it's a, it's a loving connection, even a kindred partnership that many people would want. So there's a lot of like energies trying to be sent to disrupt this. Um, so yeah, if this is for you, I feel like the, the best thing you can do right now is to focus on clearing your third eye, making sure that you're not being distorted by 
these shadows, maybe even anxieties that you have due to um, energies which are trying to divert your path or connected even to another person here, a sacred bond in love. So opening your third eye, clearing your third eye, clearing your energy and following your intuition and distractions that could come in, excuse me, could be more so of like the lower energies attempt to distract you from this path. That's what this feels like. Um, so you continuing to take these steps, protecting yourself and knowing that this path that you were meant to go um, is something, again, very like special and sacred with this bison here. And try not to question this path because if you do begin to question it, I feel like it's coming from energy that's not you anyway, you know, if that makes sense. Like it's not your own energy that's questioning yourself or your or your ability to succeed or your ability to attract in a partner or to have a current connection move forward. Um, it's more so coming from these, some kind of lower energy here. I'm also hearing if the, pre if the pressure is too much. So some of you might feel too much pressure as well, maybe in something that you're you're doing or something that you're being again called to further step into um it's like now was not the time to give up i'm hearing okay is there anything else spirit that the viewers need to hear please we have transition tranquility healing calm waters progress movement forward overcoming hardship time of adjustments, and we have stability. Happy Home Roots Foundation Twin Flame 1111. Okay, so I did see 1111 on the timer. So, and here's manifestation at the bottom. Yeah, and I'm getting a lot of you are very close right now. You're very close to this Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like they're showing it in a sequential way. The Eight of Pentacles being the efforts and the next level kind of offers that you're receiving and then the nine of pentacles would be your own like financial security you're taking steps towards a greater sense of security and then the ten of pentacles is some kind of union coming in possibly including a soul connection for some of you that you're either wanting to attract because i was getting that too um, or that you're already building towards that union with somebody that you know maybe or someone that you have on your mind but this feels like with this time of adjustment, this could even be a, a good time to make those adjustments. Again, you know, where have I planted my this seed and is it is are there weeds kind of blocking it? Do I need to do some kind of do I need to fertilize this seed every whatever or water it every couple of days? Or how, how can you kind of like nourish something that you're trying to cultivate or build towards while at the same time moving away from distractions, hardships and any kind of negative energy that may be interfering or tampering with this. Um, that's really what's coming through. I'm hearing don't sweat it. Yeah, so if any of you found this reading and you're kind of been, you've been worried maybe, or you've been feeling these, 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 whatever this five of swords energy is, don't worry because it's like a temporary speed bump, I'm, I'm seeing, and it's going to be okay. Like you're going to overcome that speed bump. Even if you go through something temporary like that, or even if you do feel at some point that, you know, it's like you're trying to build this eight of pentacles, but maybe it's like you feel like it takes a lot of effort to keep putting the effort into that thing that you're building towards. So I'm going to look into love separately because it feels like all of the messages are kind of going together. Um, I will do an extended and let me just pull a few more cards though and I'll get the tea leaf cards and then we'll extend in the extended on kind of everything from a different deck. Um, I'm hearing taking the bull by the horns. Yeah, but I mean, if anything you could take away from the reading, it just feels like there's a lot of 
this like feeling of take the bull by the horns, um, take action, or it's about to be, if it hasn't been time yet to take action, it feels like there's going to be a time coming in, probably again like a couple months or so, where it feels like there's going to be a lot of opportunity for action. I don't know if we have something, you know, astrologically coming through, but there's some kind of feeling of like a very action, action oriented, like kind of progress that somebody's being called to move into. And yeah, possibly somebody else here too with this emperor. They keep showing me that tunnel and you know how like when you go through a tunnel obviously it's dark but you still see that like maybe the tunnel's only let's say like a mile long and as you get closer to the light you can see that it, the tunnel's about to end but when you first enter the tunnel you don't know how long it is maybe let's say or you feel like maybe this is never going to end this tunnel there's something like that to where you are maybe right now like three quarters of the way in the tunnel um, where you're almost out of it, but you are, yeah, like needing to push or like um, keep the faith maybe a little bit while longer or something like that so you can, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because I keep being shown something which is like half finished. Like we're trying to erase, like let's say that there's this like a like a whiteboard and we've erased 75% of what's been written on the whiteboard. But in order for us to have that completely clean slate, we have to wipe the entire thing clear. But somehow we can only erase one word at a time. So it's taking a while to erase the whole thing or there's certain setbacks that come in, you know, like let's say that you go to erase it, but then something happens and you can't do it. And then maybe the next day you can do one word, but then, you know, you hit that speed bump again, so you can't do it the next day. It's like something to where there's progress, but it may be like a little bit sporadic or, um, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what's coming through. Like there's, there's a progress being made, but there's certain adjustments again required um, in terms of something from the past or like situations which need to be fully erased and redone and replanted, which have been getting closer to being completely like wiped out sort of feeling. And that could be so many things from, you know, this depression, your own fears that we had, something came up before um, with that evil eye as well. It can be those distractions in terms of other situations or people which can sometimes cause us to feel still chained to where we're trying really we're trying to erase that so we can have that clean slate but but sometimes there's just some setbacks and sometimes we feel a bit frustrated because we're trying to take those steps but um we may still have those kind of like cords of the, of the parachute behind us that we have to keep using the knife to like get all those pieces off so that we don't have any like resistance behind us in in those steps that we're trying to take and it's it's happening progressively or slowly anything else spirit for this message oh there's the rainbow i love when that happens um i believe i said that in the reading and i wish i could post the photo maybe i'll put it in the community tab because just yesterday it was either yes or i think it was two days ago um, there was a rainbow and I was thinking to myself, I haven't seen a rainbow in a long time and I knew it, it would have some kind of significance because it always does anything that, you know, synchronicities like that. But the fact that we have the, the rainbow and I had seen it too and the 1111 and then lightning, thunderstorms could also be another synchronicity because it's all of those things I've been kind of seeing in my reality the last few days. Um, and we have the radius or the radius, the radiance, summer solstice. So the summertime could also be um, a really significant time. But yeah, I feel like this rainbow is giving way for kind of the same thing I've already mentioned. It's like there's a there's a relieving feeling with that rainbow. There's a feeling of you know something really beautiful. I feel to where it's that end of the tunnel sensation that. 
there is something unfolding and it feels like it's that feeling again of like persistence. I think that came up too in the collective reading I did the other week. Um, persistence and achieving something or getting to a point soon where there's more of a effortless flow to the things that you're putting that work into with that eight of pentacles. So, you know, like I said, practically, this could be that there's more of a a flow with your work or there's more of a, a bigger or better kind of responsibility or workload or um, what's the word, like just abundance, I guess you can say in general, as well as getting closer to a union in love. And I'm here and count your blessings as well with the rainbow. Yeah, so I feel like that's that's kind of the same thing I'm, I'm repeating here with what we've had already. So I just saw 29, 26. Uh, so the nine and the six, you know, mirror each other. They look similar when, or they, they're, they mirror each other. So there's something with these synchronicities, 11, 11, 29, 26, six and nine. Let me get some of these here, these tea leaf cards, and then we will go to the extended and I'll get some more information for everything. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. And yeah, look at this hard work ahead. But I'm hearing it's like, it's good work. It's fulfilling work. This is not, and that's what I've been trying to explain with the Eight of Pentacles. It's not something which is like, work in terms of you being exhausted or like doing work that you don't like to do. This is more of like fulfilling work in terms of building something which at, at some point in the near future or like over the course of maybe like, I don't know, a year or two, you're going to look back on it and be at a point of stability that you've been searching for. So that's why there's that sense of like having maybe this union, this family, even if children is something that you want for some of you watching, or if you've been wanting to be in like a serious commitment or if you've been wanting to just be financially stable within yourself um having this secure family whatever that's going to mean for you personally it feels like that's really something that is this taking steps towards that and blocking out those distractions because um it is something that you you're earning and that is uh is really yours to enjoy at this point so it's like fulfilling hard work where you are getting ready to build that life for yourself because if we don't put in any work for that or if we don't reach that eight of pentacles we're going to be at the seven of pentacles the whole time where that's that time of re-evaluation where there's not a whole lot of action in that in that period of the seven of pentacles so it's really that feeling of like an adjustment and then the work is coming in which is going to lead you to where you would like to be because you're making steps in the right direction not like empty work if that makes sense or things that maybe you used to do or distractions that would be like empty like you planted those seeds but they never blossomed you know or the environment was never the sun ne never came out before so those this could never blossom but now it's like the environment is becoming more um right for that to reach that stability yeah look at that protected from negative forces beyond your control definitely for some of you watching this and we will get some more information the extended maybe i'll kind of look at what that could be but for some there definitely is something to where there is some negative forces that have tried to interfere with your path and i feel like that's also part of the rainbow if any of you have had troubles with this that rainbow and that lightning is a synchronicity and a sign for you to know that you are protected from this and that maybe the worst of it is over. The worst of that feeling to where you were always trying to do something and it was empty or again, you know, the sun never came out um, when you tried to plant those seeds and so somebody else was blocking your sun, you know, or spiritually speaking, there was something blocking your path and maybe it was just it had to happen for that reason at the time. But now it's like the sun's coming out and you're, you can blossom now. And those, yeah, those, those flowers can bloom fully because I feel like you are protected. Great good fortune. Yeah, it's time for your good fortune. 
it's time for this work to be fulfilling and it's time for there to be more of like a result of the things that you put the work into. Again, not emptiness. It's like you put work into something and it immediately brings results. Um, or you put work into a relationship, whatever this counterpart is or somebody who's right for you, and it actually goes somewhere. It actually leads to stability, not just somebody that's going to be non like just like an empty kind of relationship obstacles to overcome yeah so that's already what we had seen here with the cobweb there has been obstacles to overcome and uh, i don't know what this is but i just saw a vision of somebody like having a very i was hearing the word brat and then i saw somebody with a very bratty bratty looking face i don't know what that is i'm not sure if that's somebody around you that's been kind of like negative and bratty is the word spirit used if that is something that resonates with somebody that is maybe part of where you are protected from that individual or that that could even be a version of you i mean maybe some of you are coming out of a time where you were a bit negative or pessimistic and um it's like spirit saying, you know, something to where either for you to like not be like that, to come out of that vibration, or that naturally you're going to be just overcoming that anyway. Maybe it was coming from something that was interfering with you. So we have, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. The sun here again, new creative ideas, new ventures and a fresh start. A period of ill health and depression, birth of a con birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So that again, the Eight of Pentacles here, the, the crib could be for some of you, there could be a child at some point, maybe now or in the future, because we have these eggs here and something about that relationship, maybe the union. So for some of you, if, if that does fit for you, um, or if that's something that one day in the next, maybe like I said, a year or two is kind of coming through to me, that could be something which you're working towards and you will manifest that. Um, it also could be a business with that Eight of Pentacles, something you're putting your, it's like a birth of a business or it's a birth, something with the eggs, you know, it's like a birth of a new chapter of your life, which is more in alignment with stability and success. Um, could be close to November. There could be some news coming in in November. Especially if it's coming in the form of a package, a letter, or news. Um, this feels like it's already passing. That's what that was talking about with the evil eye. Um, definitely some of you could still want to have that, you know, pendant or carry that with you, the evil eye, because that did come up earlier as advice from spirit, just to really kind of ward off any prying eyes at this point on you because yeah it's it's like i don't know you're no longer there for some there is a woman here uh, since i was seeing that something with the bratty that's just going to be for somebody hidden secrets can harm you okay so i don't know what that is so a woman here that is sending you negative energy yeah trouble and accusations and if that doesn't sound like you it's possible that it could be someone that you're connected to in love that could be for some like if you know that someone that you're already with or that you're building things with and they have like maybe a toxic ex for example or something like that there could be a lot of like trouble and accusations with a woman that's been trying to wedge her way in between maybe you and a union um, but that could be a friend, it could be anyone, you know, for that matter. But we have new home and new attitude. Yeah, some of you definitely could be moving into a new home or it's just, it's really time for like, this is a focus on the stability aspect though, again, like the practical, the eight of pentacles. So practically speaking, like maybe creating this loving home or moving into a new space where you're away from those negative energies or you're starting clean, you're starting fresh, you're putting dedicated work or you're getting this promotion or you're getting a new job or you're just taking on a more proactive, emperor, organized mindset to where you can actually create your dream home and dream relationships here. A change for the better. So we had that choice, a change for the better. So again, we'll go more in the extended. I will get some of those fortune telling cards as well and get some more specifics. 
but there's definitely a change for the better here. Just know that, if anything. Uh, I don't know what this is with the woman, the older woman. Take that how that resonates. It could be a mother. Um, I don't know. An older woman could be giving you something or a gift, or there could be an older woman somehow involved in this whole thing. So I'm just going to get a, one of these, and then I'll pull a few charms, and then we'll go over to the extended, and I will look at love specifically in the extended, just to see what else comes up for that, and then also just general insights from some different decks and some more specific cards as to what all of this is about and what to expect. Okay, this just flew out. Self-love is truly the key to harmonious relationships and manifestation. Spend some quality time with yourself right now and work on truly loving and valuing all parts. Put you first. So this also gives me a very... Um, something feels very... I guess it's because we are in Taurus season too because it feels very grounded to me this energy it feels something like practical things you can do you know your home how you feel in your home your environment how you take care of yourself physically right now how you take care of your emotional health um and making that environment kind of sweep you know like with the seed reference how can you pull the weeds right now and water the plants of yourself and cut the weeds of the of the people that are sending you the negative energy just really getting clear on everything related to like home family relationships self-care and career and work that's really what it feels like here for this reading anything else spirit that you want to say the final message of advice or just what the viewer needs to know yeah i'm seeing somebody button up their shirt and again i'm hearing button button up here or like get ready yeah you are meant to create more material abundance and prosperity because you deserve it. Your hard work is paying off. Just remember to think big and know that you deserve wealth. Again, very grounded, earthy here. Um, it feels like a lot of you deserve this wealth. You deserve to be you know, in a position to make more money. You deserve to be in a relationship that brings you more stability and maybe even you and a, like, a, like a partner, being a power couple together. Something definitely where it feels like Spirit wants you to know that there could be a change for the better, maybe around November, um, which is somehow going to propel you further into more material success and abundance. We have take a trip. A distant land may be calling out to you right now for healing purposes and spiritual growth. Notice where it is that you are drawn to travel to. There is something to gain on an upcoming trip. So some of you could be moving with this new house. You may be drawn to move somewhere. Um, there could be a very important location you're moving to or, or a trip here. Again, could be something about November for somebody uh, specific, but there's a call to like explore something new or to be aware of where you are going in terms of a trip. And then we have here, slip into a deep meditation and focus only on your breath. Connect to what your body needs by feeling its vibration and state of being. You will find that you are more in tune and intuitively aware of exactly what you need. So again, you know, connecting with the body, maybe something with like yoga, for example, or um, just something too, to where you can really get in tune with what you need right now and what is your environment telling you and what is your body telling you and where can you make those adjustments. And at the bottom, you are currently on the path of higher spiritual ascension. You may find that you are no longer resonating with previous timelines and vibrations. Trust that your soul knows exactly which path to walk. And that's what I was getting with the third eye and the taking steps. Your intuition right now is definitely the guide for you, but you do have to be aware of what's affecting your vibration that is maybe confusing you with what is your body actually saying versus what are you what are you absorbing around you so i'm going to pull some charms and then we'll leave it there so let's see is there any charms here that need to come up for this reading that can serve as a message or a confirmation for the souls that are watching Okay, 
Okay, so we have a smiley face. So yeah, it's time to be happy. It's something about, what is this card here? Yeah, the unfoldment, the lotus flower. So it's time to unfold into your happiness, you know? Maybe even smiling, having a vibration, like uplifting your vibration. And look, we have 1111 again. So definitely this reading, if you've been seeing 1111, especially in the last like maybe few days or so, or if you will be seeing 1111 a lot more, this reading is for you because it seems like that's a very synchronistic synchronicity or it's a very important synchronicity right now so yeah tune into your own body here with this 1111 we have talking to plants is one way of talking directly to spirit and it's on top of this travel this is very specific for somebody if you feel called to travel somewhere like maybe somewhere um, on a retreat in nature or maybe something about like, you know, plant medicine, ayahuasca, something like that. That could be for somebody. Um, that if there's something with like, maybe again, nature's coming up grounded, something with the pentacles in Taurus season, maybe connecting more with nature or more with plant medicine, stuff like that. We also have this, yeah, this um, like helmet or whatever it's called, something with like, just gives me the warrior feeling again. So I feel like a lot of you with that emperor that came up before, for some it's a guide uh, that came up and even a masculine that you may be meeting or interacting with, there's a strong feeling of stepping into the masculine energy or meeting a significant masculine to like be in that warrior energy. We also have this broken heart. Um, it's on top of, or it's, it's, yeah, it's on top of the four leaf clover, but it looks like angel wings. So this is definitely, I just saw two, two, two. Yeah, there's a lot of synchronicities here. For some, there could be something about moving away from heartbreak, healing your heart. Um, I don't know, something here with like, um, yeah, just like healing from heartache. There's something coming through, but I can't pinpoint what the message is. Maybe it'll come to me. We have Aquarius here. So for some, there could be an older woman Aquarius that may be very specific for somebody if that's what, who, whatever that older woman is there for. Or there may be a, an Aquarius person playing a part in your life or will be. We have this heart with the eye in the middle on top of this birth or conception. So it feels like this is... Um, kind of like it almost reminds me of like an Ouija board thing like guided with your intuition here again but there may be something that is like in the future too with the eye something that's manifesting something that you're putting your intention or your focus into that's going to manifest we have the sword here on top of November so for some there could be some something again of clarity coming in in November something which is going to be like almost like I don't know some kind of lightning lightning strike or like revelation or news that comes in in November or something that you'll be protected with in the month of November and we have the waves here so there could be like a something will rock your boat in November or there may be a, like a wave that comes in but you will be protected or it's going to be about change we also have the seashell so maybe something about the ocean too is coming up or the water or something near the water um, we have this here which I can't remember the name of this thing. And I don't really know why it's coming up on top of news. I'm not sure if this means something for you. I can't think of the name of this. Um, some kind of, something with like math though, I, I think. I don't know what that means. We also have two butterflies. We have a butterfly here and a butterfly here. And they're both on top of the cobweb and the emperor. So again, a lot of you, there's change. The butterflies come up three times here too, so it's another sign. There's a lot of change and also a lot of uh, like rebirth coming through and even protection here that is going to lift you away from the negativity. This is... Um, I guess like a little carriage. So it's on top of the hills and this card here. 
on stability. Yeah, so you could be, some of you definitely could be moving or there's some kind of movement on wheels, you know? So it could be a car, like you're traveling somewhere by car or you would be in the future or there's just some kind of movement in general happening. Um, we have this bow and arrow here on top of the Knight of Wands. So this for me gives me a sense too of either somebody who's aiming for you in love, like a, you know, with their bow and arrow kind of in, in terms of, of um, just some kind of proactive, again, energy or movement, but this could also be you shooting for kind of your dreams in a way. We have another arrow here too. Also Sagittarius could be significant because we have November here. So something around Sagittarius season for somebody. We have another arrow. So yeah, keep your eye on the prize when it comes to self-love. Okay, something with the arrow. Um, oh, that's not a, that's, I don't know, some paper. I thought that was an airplane for a second. We also have Scorpio. Yeah, November too. So definitely something with Scorpio and Sagittarius seasons coming up. I don't know, that keeps coming through here. Something around that time. We'll see if that comes up later in the extended too. We have um, the moon on top of this trouble and accusation. So yeah, there's something kind of sneaky going on with that. Some kind of secret here. So again, we'll go more into it and see. And then we have this here. Okay, so I don't know what that is, but something with the moon again and the wings on top of the woman. So there's something about a woman that's either causing trouble or there's some secret revealed around a woman or there will be. And we have the sun. Yeah, so maybe something coming out to the open from the hidden secrets into this here. So I will leave it here. Um, I hope that this reading was helpful. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, I'd appreciate it. And I will go over now to the extended and get some more information for the reading. And I wish you all the best, take care and lots of love.